Welcome back, everybody. This is Kevin from Walker's Adventures. Check the link below to our store for all your RV travel logs, vacation planners, weekly, monthly, yearly planners. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, hit the like button, and turn on notifications. I about we we love to watch shows about Alaska. You know the wild just wildlife and, and hunting and living off the land uh, so but in Bismarck we was at like a, a natural growers store like all natural food and we found something that we've been wanting to try for a long long time but we just happened to find it and it was about the same price as one pound of hamburger and let me flip it around right here and I'll show you what we're going to try ground elk now granted it does have 3% beef, but hey, beggars can't be choosers. And we got a pound, and I think we paid like $8.50 for a pound of elk. So we're gonna try that tonight. You can see it's grass-fed elk. Yeah, okay, yeah, that's what they probably ate. Elk and beef use no hormones administered, no added gluten, gluten excellent source of protein. Let's see here. Take it out of the box. Looks like it's kind of dark and rich compared to a hamburger. It's a different, different color. It says excellent source of protein. Let's see. It says um, low and slow. Uh, protein, protein. 24 grams of protein for four ounces. So that's pretty good for protein. Of course you got your safe handling instructions. So after we cook it, we will come back and tell you our thoughts when we uh, eat it. Linda decided before she fixed our elk for dinner, she's gonna take Sadie for a ride. Isn't that a good dog? She's ready to go. Y'all enjoy y'all's ride. Yeah, I don't think I told y'all, since we've been in North Dakota now for two months, the weather has really been miserable. You can't hardly ride the motorcycle here. And uh, the end of March, April, and May, that about the warmest day we've had has been about 70. The only thing is, is the wind blows about 50 miles an hour, and it's cold. So it don't, it's, it don't make for good riding weather with the motorcycle. But hopefully that will change in a couple of weeks where we can start riding the motorcycle more regularly. So here's what the elk looks like with all the spices on top. It has smoked paprika, oregano leaves, and this is what it called for. It's not my concoction. And thyme leaves. And I put um, oil in the pan. Let me show you how dark this meat is, if I can turn it over. It's, it's real dark, and it's not near as fatty as hamburger. We'll let you know how it cooks up. I was uh, noticing that the seasoning's all, all mixed in, and it's not greasy. My hands are, are, are wet. And a little, a little oily, but not greasy like they would be with hamburger. And it's holding its color good. Not getting dark. Not, not changing at all. So let's see how it goes. And here you can see the pound of elk made three hamburgers and two meatballs. The meatballs, we're going to try them independently with nothing, no ketchup, no nothing, and see how they taste so you, you actually know how they taste. So when they just about get done, I'll do another little video so you can see how much it shrunk in the pan. And here's a finished product. Like Linda said, they shrunk up pretty good. <laughs> Smells good though. So we're gonna give it a try and see what we see what we got. And now it comes the big reveal. Uh -huh. When we try and see how it tastes. And Linda's cutting it up and the meatball and so it doesn't look dry. It don't look dry, she says. Don't tell me what you think yet. Let me try it, and then we'll, we'll kind of reveal it together. Okay. 
fun. Just flip it around, so be trying it. Yeah, it don't look too dry, does it? Mm -mm. There it is. Let's try it out. What do you think? I think it kind of has a gamey taste, kind of like on the end. But it really don't taste that much different than the hamburger. Mm, I think it does. I think it's strong, a stronger meat, but I don't know that Hold it's... on a sec. What? What was you saying? Oh, I think it's stronger than hamburger in flavor, um, but it's still good. It is good, and I still taste, kind of like taste it. In my mouth, so it is. Mm -hmm. It does have it does have staying power. It, it is pretty good. It is good. I it's would, it's more flavorful than beef. Yeah, I think yeah. so too. Yeah. So we'd definitely try it again. I think you could use it in a lot of recipes that you use beef in. It would just make it better. I think you're yeah. right. Yeah. yeah, sounds good. So we appreciate you watching this week. I'm gonna give you a little bit of spoiler for the next couple of videos. Hopefully. Uh, we're going to go to Jamestown, North Dakota. They have a big buffalo museum and ranch up there. I think they have a, a metal buffalo out front that's like 26 foot tall in the next video. And also, we hope to um, get some buffalo meat and try buffalo in the video after that. So that might be spoilers for the next two videos if you stuck around to, to the end to see what we're going to do next. Anyhow, I appreciate you watching. We'll talk to you next week.